Long Beach? Well, Long Beach is a long, a very long beach. But the beach, well, there's no beach at Norwalk because it's inland. But the beach at Norwalk, I mean, the beach at Long Beach is, is very, it's very long. Yeah. Well, as long from the I know all about long times. It is yeah. elongated and long like. <laughs> aside from the fact that it is, will you just get to the point? It is a very ugly beach. There now. Let us try to have Clem introduce now uh, Agnes. Oh, yeah. Well, my Trilla. Let me present Agnes Opal Glover. Birthday. Opie. Uh, Opal. Little Opie. No, Opal. <laughs> O-P-A-L. Glover. Born October 30th. Hey, that's the day before Halloween. I know, I wish I was called a witch for being born, you know, right Did anyone, ever, did anyone ever call you pumpkin head? They used to call me Agnes and Glitch. <laughs> yeah, Glitch. That's pretty. You like it. It's almost as pretty as Glimmer. Thank you. Of course, that's not as good as Summer. <laughs> yeah, she found in New York City, New York. Hey, what part? She's got blue eye. <laughs> and What's her other eye? <laughs> blue eye. Can't you possibly see an ass? Try it, try it. You'll like it. Blue eye. I can't... Blind eye? See, <laughs> my tongue won't do that. Okay. Yeah, son's she, strike. He's out to lunch for life. She got down here and did her hair instead of leather color, like Eddie said. She got Can't down the, here at Dark Auburn. It is Dark, dark Auburn. <laughs> I'm always talking like you now. God help you. Okay, you're 24... Yeah, oh, five foot five, 170 pounds, Jewish. 170 pounds? I didn't know you were Jewish. Are you prejudiced? No, but you don't look Jewish. Well, what are they supposed to look like anyway? Everyone says this all the time. I look just like I look. Well, look at her nose. You can tell she's Jewish. And second thought, don't look at my nose. It ain't too bad. Look at her Compared oh, to yeah, compared to yours, <laughs> they are Indian, you know. They ain't known for their little nose. Too hard to write. see there bit two, two far, three far, silver circle. Yes, I'm one of those really intense people, and I will tell you <laughs> that I loved it in New York, and I was only sixteen when my father. Got this job out here in Stagwalk with the Oscill Company, like we were seeing, and he was transferred, and I was broken hearted. But then I got to loving it out here, and I wouldn't leave it for anything now. See, the business you like he was the in, Oscar. he was a branch manager, and the Oscill Company is expanding. You know, it's growing bigger all the time. They're opening up new operations. They're going to open one in Hawaii. Did you know that? Yeah, they had one up in Seattle when I lived up there. Yeah. Oscar was expanding. I never heard of it before. Well, what is it anyway? It's an electronics firm. I like farm electronics. <laughs> yeah, can tell. Yes, you're so cute. Why you are so good looking? Thank you. Why well, you too, yeah. Eddie? I like this glass. <laughs> yeah. You flat, Maggie. Well, I guess I am a little. <laughs> oh, I have to introduce someone. Kelly Jean. Oh, yes, Kelly Jean. <laughs> Wait, I get the wrong. <laughs> that was my <laughs> driver's license. I was looking for. All right. Kelly Jean McCarley was born January the 30th, 1942, in Fort Bragg, California. She has hazel eyes and red hair. She's 34. Hazel hair. She has twins, a boy and a girl, Jesse and Jody. She's 5 foot 2, weighs 140 pounds. <laughs> Not anymore, I love her. She's of Scottish descent, and she lives at 100, I mean, 10060 Red Rock. Hi, she looks like a little bunny little glory. Oh, thank you, Square. I know she does. With I want to make the comment that Kelly Jean looks like what I've always wanted to look like. I mean, 
here I am so skinny and flat, and she's so woo-woo-woo, you know, and all the men love her, and, uh... Oh, yeah. I try to get like that, and I exercise, and I eat, and I still stay skinny, and Kelly Jean just makes me Do you eat cheesecake? That'll do it. (laughs) I didn't know you... You liked me that much, Agnes? You really liked the way I look? Of course. Who wouldn't want to look like you? (laughs) Thank you. Valerie, would you want to look like that? I like it, too. Valerie, would you want to look like that? Good Lord, I don't know how you can ever fit into clothes when you... I mean, you know, it's awful hard for you to find things to fit you. They're either too tight or your legs are too short or, you know... Well, <laughs> oh, well, it's it, it's my turn to talk about me now. <laughs> well, you know, I married Roy McCarley. I quit high school at 16. I got my diploma later from uh, Isidore Beasley, Beasley Bascom's, Bascom's <laughs> correspondence, you know. <laughs> I've heard of that. Is it any good? Uh, it's pretty good. Do you need it, Squint? No, I finished high school. Oh, that's right. And he even went a little bit to college, he was telling me. He wanted to be a doctor at one time. It was better than trying to be a priest. Oh, <laughs> you don't look like the priestly type at all. True with him. <clears throat> well, I, um, uh, I wanted to make it big in L.A., but I ran out of money down there when I went the last time, so I, I came back uh, here because my sister Ruth Ann Wedge lives here. Her husband's name is Bruce Wedge. Ruth Ann who? Wedge. Wedge. And uh, I've been trying to find myself since my divorce. It's not easy. Sometimes the child support is late, and I'm always running out of money. Anyway, I- I'm going to introduce uh, Valerie now. Uh, Valerie Elizabeth Vanderwood, born uh, July 7th, 1947. She was she was born here in Stagbluff, but she lived for a long time in Waco, Texas. No, you got it wrong. I was born in Waco, Texas, and we... Lived a long time there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm i excited. I read it wrong. Uh, she has blue eyes and blonde hair. Question. Yes, it's blonde. It's touched up, but it's blonde. <laughs> We've been friends down at the women's equality meetings for quite a while now. Uh, Valerie is 29, and she's 5'7", weighs 125 pounds. She's of Dutch descent, and she lives at 378 North Juno Street, which is in the ritzy part of town where I'd like to live. And, well, tell them that my parents practically founded this town. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. And uh, she's the aristocracy of Sag- Stagbla. But we're <laughs> friends. Stagbla. <laughs> Stagbla. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. You practically built this town. Hey, we're going to be good She's friends. She's pretty well built herself. We're going to be good friends, you know. You tell him, honey. Well, did we, we all, oh, well, i got to say something, sure, you know, before class time runs out. You went to Muggy University? Yeah, I went to, uh, see, I was born in Waco, and we, we stayed down there. My daddy had these oil investments for a while, you know. And had chili beans. And we stayed down there until I was 14, and then, then he sold out everything, and we came up to Stag Bluff, which is where my parents were from. Oh.